guys, it's day one here at VidCon, and um, I'm heading to the convention center. I got my pass, I got an industry pass, so I'm going to the keynote address. It's almost nine o'clock. Um, and I have all this stuff I'm carrying around already. Um, today should be super fun. Um, Presley's big panel is today, and I'm really looking forward to that. And hoping to see some of my YouTube friends, which I'm really excited about. And it looks kind of overcast today. I hope it's not gonna rain or anything. I thought it didn't rain out here. Um, but can you see the sign behind me? Vidcon, where is it? There it is. Yeah, so already lots of people here um, getting ready to go to VidCon. Yeah, super but tired. I got up at 6 a.m. I'm not used to this West Coast time yet. Um, yeah, so I'm hanging inside and hopefully I will re remember to vlog and record some of the stuff that we do today. I'm heading up the escalator to the industry level. Um, that's level three. And if you're wondering why I have an industry badge, it's because I also work with Mommy on Family Video Network. It's our little multi-channel network that um, it's all family-friendly content and um, lots of channels you probably know because there are a lot of our YouTube friends. And yeah, so we're gonna go learn some YouTube businessy stuff today. My book, Paper Towns, happens to come out tomorrow. Woo! Uh, <laughs> so uh, you should you should see that. Uh, <laughs> And uh, also, if I seem tired, that is why. Uh, I have not slept in my bed in months. Uh, but none of that would have been possible without YouTube. My brother and I uh, have been making videos back and forth to each other since 2007, and the community uh, that's built up around those videos has made everything else in my life and career uh, possible. So I just spent most of the morning listening to a couple panels. Um, I saw John Green and people like Katie Couric and Z Frank and they talked a lot about the future of video and not just on YouTube but across all kinds of platforms and convergence and millennials and a lot of these other um, <laughs> trend, trendy buzzwords that people like to talk about but it's been very interesting um, talking about brands and um, just the future of what people like me and my friends all do. So, yeah, uh, but now I'm going to go down the expo floor and see what's going on down there and see what I can find. Here's a view from the second floor. Can you see all the people outside? And I'm behind the big VidCon sign now. Lots of people downstairs. And, yeah, still heading downstairs. This looks super fun. I love it. It's a rain! For you guys who are Shea Targs fans, they've got some merch here over at the Maker Shop. That was very cool, running into Rainy Day Dreamers. Um, let's see, oh, there's, I wonder if there's doggies over here by I Heart Animals. Here's where some Quidditch is going on. I think they're just warming up. But, we've got it. The floor is way bigger this year. I'm gonna go. Get my VidCon t-shirt. Let's see what it looks like this year. Very cool. What's it look like? Ooh, it's like a cloud. It's so cute. Oh, and they have a booth here from my favorite, one of my favorite t-shirt shops. We Love Fine. People always ask me where I get my cool shirts and it's always from We Love Fine. Ooh, I love that cardigan. Oh my gosh, I want a Lumpy Space Princess cardigan. That is awesome. Ooh. I like that a lot. Oh, I like that Adventure Time shirt. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so cute. Ooh, they also have a steampunk fin with Marcy and um, Princess Bubblegum. Or a Stormtrooper sweatshirt. I don't know which one I get. want. I'm gonna have to think about this and come back. Oh, and they got this unicorn guy. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. I really want one of these shirts though. So cute. I don't know who Dan and Phil are, but there's a long line of people who want their merch, which is pretty cool. I actually went outside to see Dan and Phil at VidCon. That's cute. Um, some more funny merch stuff. Lots of merch over here, t-shirts and things. 
and these are hilarious. Girl boy pillows. You can get a poop pillow. That's pretty funny. Oh, I want to subscribe one though. That's cute. That's awesome. These are these, I've seen these tube hero toys here. A bunch of different um, action figures based on YouTubers. That is cool. I want to see some of my friends as uh, tube heroes. That would be even more awesome. You guys want to read a great book? I can't, can't more than recommend the star won't go out about Esther Earl, who you might know is the inspiration kind of behind the Fault in Our Stars. And this foundation is created in her memory. And this is so cool. I'm so excited to be here. And here's Wayne Earl. Oh, uh, I'm gonna talk to you. Woo, it's a Harry Potter Alliance. I'm a member of this group. They are super cool. And they collecting books here. So awesome.
Do you think YouTube helped you become as articulate as you are? Because you do a better job moderating this panel than I would. <laughs> because of YouTube, solely because of YouTube. The producer of that show was like, if it wasn't for your YouTube channel, we probably- Anyone who's already on YouTube or starting YouTube, I have two pieces of advice, and, as, and they're pretty much all you need to start YouTube. The first one is be yourself, do what you want. If you're happy doing it, then do it. It doesn't matter what it is, just do it if you're happy. And the second one is, if you want to make good videos, you're going to have to make a lot of bad ones. So, so just- so just keep that in mind, and you'll be growing to the top of YouTube in no time. Wow. Does anybody have a bunch of money they can yeah. give to Michael Stevens? Because I want I, that too. Big 2016. Giant mirror ball. Ask some of those sponsors. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh. And they're turning the mic so it goes down. Yes, I didn't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to us about that. We're good. Um, well, I know this is the community panel and not the industry uh, track, but if any of you guys want to enable any of those ideas, please let, it, let, let these guys know. Um, please help me thank this wonderful group of panelists. What a cool day it's been here at VidCon. Saw lots of my friends and some cool panels and some awesome YouTubers. And I just saw Hank Green and some really cool science people like Vsauce and Emily from, I think, Brain Scoop. And I just wandered into that and that was really awesome. And, oh my goodness, I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I'm kind of tired. My backpack is really stuffed with stuff. So I need to go get rid of things. My camera is not working. My regular DSLR, and I'm really upset about that. Um, especially because I left it all the way to California. And it's not working. That is so lame. Now I'm back outside, and there are lots and lots of people here, and I'm going to head back to my room for a while, and then see what's going on. Hey.